What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. I'm still trying to get over this cold. This cold is kicking my ass. It's really messing me up. It's getting me weak at times. I done took some day quill, took night quill, took halls, all type of stuff, you know. But I'm still feeling a little bit weak. <coughs> I'm still feeling under the weather. I'm mad sick. And, you know, this thing ruined my plans for the things that I wanted to do. And, yeah, I'm pretty pissed off about it. But, anyway, let me get on to this video because I know I made a video before about why I left the Xbox and went on to the PlayStation. But let me go very into detail the reason why. It's going to be a little lengthy video, so I want y'all to understand. I just saw Fat Gamer's video about him getting rid of the Xbox One and sticking to PlayStation. And the only thing I'm going to say about that is that's the best decision right now. Microsoft, when you cancel exclusive games... And there's people that sit out there and buy your console and you cancel exclusives. You sit up there and you actually said, well, I know Scalebound's canceled, but we'll have Halo Wars 2. Nobody plays RTS games. Nobody plays that. Seriously, do you think anybody's going to sit around and play an RTS game? That was damage control and that's all y'all did. Sea of Thieves, Crackdown 3. And all these other little shitty ass games? Microsoft, you have nothing. You have nothing. You, you know what? I don't even care if the Xbox One S was $200. I still wouldn't go buy it. Here's the reason why. Now listen. I'm not going to be no PlayStation strong or anything like that. Because PlayStation don't really have that that many exclusives right now. The most of the games that I have is multi-plats. You know what I'm saying? But I know for sure they run better on the PlayStation than they ever did on the Xbox. When I was playing games on the Xbox, and I know I'm going to get some hate over this, when I was playing games on the Xbox, why was my games kept on freezing? I didn't understand it. And I know people out there is going to say, well, updates and stuff and updates this and update and they improve on stability. I think that's a load of crap. The Xbox don't have games. They don't. Okay. And I was interested in playing that scale bound. And I bet you Platinum Games was probably like, damn, I wish we would have never partnered up with Microsoft. Because if we did partner up with Microsoft, we could have had games on both platforms. And it probably would have sold on the PlayStation. But since you partner up with Microsoft, Microsoft just said, eh, we, we, you know, it just can't run on the Xbox One. And now Platinum Games is looking bad or whatever. And they're getting talked about because they're like, they, y'all should have never partnered up with Microsoft. Never. What is the use of getting an Xbox One? Anybody, tell me the reason why. Most of the time when I had my Xbox One, all I see people doing was being on Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and uh, on, uh, on TV. That was it. I look on my PlayStation right now. I was doing a test. I got over 500 friends on, on PlayStation, right? I was doing a test to see how many people play games. The majority of the people, and I'm not trolling, I'm not, you know, I'm not lying about this, I swear. The majority of the people, it was 132 friends. Do you know how many people that was playing games at, uh, versus those that was doing other stuff than playing games? 132 people, and I'm not even trolling, I swear I ain't. 122 was playing games on the party chat. Or the party chat and playing games. I'm not trolling. So you know what that means? That means 95% of the people on PlayStation are playing games. 
I just sent out friend requests to people and they just accepted it. There's people that um, are on my Facebook page. You know what I'm saying? They they sent me requests and I just sent requests. I was doing a test. This was just a test just to see how many people play games. And actually, there are more people that play games on the PlayStation than the people ever did on the Xbox. Why is that? Phil Spencer, why is that? Because play, people on PlayStation, just like Nintendo, they play their games. They do that. While people on the Xbox are on social media stuff. And if Time Warner is going to offer people cable on the Xbox One, that just goes to show that Xbox One is nothing but a media console. It is, it's not a gaming console, it's a media console. And that's why so many people are turning in their Xbox Ones for the PlayStation. But like, you know, just like I said, I have my, ex, my PlayStation since November. Since November, I barely had any problems with my PlayStation. And I was playing games. I wasn't on Netflix. I wasn't on Hulu. I didn't see too many people on no type of uh, different uh, apps. Everybody's playing games. And I check it on a daily basis. I check it on a daily basis. So that just goes to show you where PlayStation is when it comes to gaming versus where Xbox is. So people like Fat Gamer and people like Drone Crusher, they're right. You know, and when I started to think about it, you know, I mean, I was saying something before about how uh, Fat Gamer and, and Drone Crusher, you know, how they was talking about Nintendo this, Nintendo. Nintendo people actually play games too. If, you know, whatever first party games they like to play on Nintendo, but I'm not a Nintendo person. I'm sorry. I was going to get a Switch, but then I'm thinking like, I don't even know if I even play it. I, I don't know yet if I even want to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because the only game I really want to get is Mario. That's it. And I have to wait months for that. Meanwhile, if I was to get the Switch, it'd be sitting here collecting dust until the Mario game comes out. And that ain't until the holiday. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with my 19, 20 games I have for PlayStation. Then hopefully something comes. But anyway, that's off topic. You know... Xbox One is done. You made it into a media console. People ain't feeling it no more. They see that it's just a media console for your Netflix and all that. You don't have any games. You're, you're exclusive. You're canceling your good exclusives. And then your damage control talking about some Halo Wars 2 and Sea of Thieves and all these other games that nobody ain't going to play. So, you know what? I'm glad that I got rid of my Xbox and I'm probably never going to get it again. I'm just not. I'm, I'm right now with PlayStation. Right now, I'm going to stay with PlayStation. You know, I'm not even going to get the Scorpio. I might even get, I might get a PlayStation 4 uh, uh, Pro, but I'm not going to get the Scorpio. I'm just going to stick with PlayStation. That's just how that is. I'm sorry. You know? But I am Xbox one and done. I'm one and done for, for life. This is it. I, this, this is where I'm at. I'm sorry to disappoint you Xbox fans, which I know there'll be a lot of. But what my suggestion to you is give PlayStation a try. Just give it a try. I was like y'all. Let me tell y'all something before I end this video. I was like y'all. I had my, my Xbox, my original Xbox, in 2002. I had Halo 2 for over a year. I didn't play nothing else. Only multiplayer. From, from uh, 2002 to August of 2016, I was totally Xbox. I'd be damned if anybody talked about Xbox. I'd be damned. I would get on your case in a heartbeat. But now... 
I don't even care no more. My PlayStation runs so smooth. So smooth. So much better than the Xbox ever did. That's where I'm at right now, y'all. I'm Xbox One and done for life. This the bear and I'm out. Peace.